Well, here it is. I made one that you can actually hit with. As you can see, this part fits here. This part fits down your arm. In order to make one to hit with, you got to modify it a little bit because you can't put this onto here on the top or bottom because it'll hit your arm. It'll hit your arm when you try to make one to hit with. Your wrist, they flex like this. So if you want to hit it and get extended, if you put it down here on this one, right underneath, it's going to sit like this and it's going to hit your arm when your wrist flex. And if you put it on the, on the top one and you put it underneath and you flex your wrist, it's going to hit. Also, if you put it on top here, your wrist flex back like this. So it's going to hit your arm because it's straight. So you can't really hold it. You have to hold it like this, but nobody actually hits like that. You actually flex your arm back. So if you try to hit with it, your arm's going to flex back and to get the bat in position to hit. So the cool part about this, you can actually hit with it. If you're a guy that hits like this, or if you're a guy that hits with your bat up like this. So if you're a guy that hits like this, you can use it to hit balls and you can extend. And if you're a guy that likes to hit with your bat up like this, you can still use it like this and you can extend. So that's why the, the, the prongs are shorter. They're clamped on, so you can remove them if I ever wanted to remove them. Sit back here. Or... If you hold it this way, like this, it hits either way. There you have it. I made one that you can hit with. Coke balls. Well, peace.